Good morning. Christmas Novena. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Now this is how the birth of Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophets. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. He had no relations with her until she bore a son and he named him Jesus. The word of the Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A prayer of hope. Please respond to each petition. Lord, hear our prayer. Jesus was born in a stable. Bring hope to the homeless. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Jesus, child of Mary and Joseph, bring hope to all families. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, light of the world, bring hope to the darkness of our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, bearer of peace, bring peace to those suffering from conflict and war. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, who fled to another country, bring hope to all refugees. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, who was hungry in the desert, bring hope to the poor and starving. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, who died for us, bring hope to those near death. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, Son of God, Messiah, bring us hope this Christmas. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, you made yourself known to us as a child born in poverty, a long way from home. We ask your blessing upon this community this Advent. As we journey with Mary and Joseph toward the hope and expectation of your Savior's birth, may we open our hearts to you and to each other. Bless all the households and businesses that share in our journey this Advent and bring peace, joy, hope, love, healing and protection to all the families in our world. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Stars keep the watch when night is dim. One more light the bowl shall brim, shining beyond the frosty weather, bright as sun and moon together. People look east and sing today. Love, the star is on the way. Angels announce on this great feast, Him who cometh from the east, Set every peak and valley humming, With the word the Lord is coming. People look east and sing today, Love, the Lord is on the way. Today we are offering the Mass for the repose of the soul of Jim Colucci and also for our intentions. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Brothers and sisters, to prepare for this sacred mystery, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who seen the human race fall into death, why to redeem it by coming, O your only begotten Son? Can we pray that those who confess his incarnation with humble fervor May marry his company as a redeemer, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the book of Samuel. In those days, Hannah brought Samuel with her, along with a three-year-old bull, a nephah of flour, and a skin of wine, and presented him at the temple of the Lord in Shiloh. After the boy's father had sacrificed the young bull, Hannah, his mother, approached Eli and said, Pardon, my Lord, as you live, my Lord. I am a woman who stood near you here, praying to the Lord. I prayed for this child, and the Lord granted my request. Now I, in turn, gave him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he shall be dedicated to the Lord. She left Samuel there. The word of the Lord. Thanks to be God. <clears throat> my heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. <laughs> the bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gear on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The My barren God. wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. Her heart My soul. heart exalts in the My Lord, Lord, my Savior. Savior. <clears throat> the Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles. He also exalts. My, my heart, heart exalts soul. in the Lord, my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust. From the dung heap, he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. O King of all nations and keystone of the church, Come and save man whom you formed from the dust. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. <coughs> the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked upon his lonely servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. 
He hath filled the hungry with, with good things, and the rich he hath sent away empty. He hath come to the help of his servant Israel, for he hath remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, let us reflect today upon this twofold process of proclaiming and rejoicing. Proclaiming Mass always comes first. Even if we feel a thought, there is nothing to rejoice about it. But if you can commit yourselves to the proclamation of the greatness of God, you will suddenly find that you have discovered the deepest cause of joy in life, God himself. <clears throat> and let us pray. Dearest Mother Mary, you choose to proclaim the greatness of God. You acknowledge his glorious action in your life and in the world. And your proclamation of this truth fill you with joy and love. Pray for us that we may also seek the, glorif the glorify God each and every day, no matter what challenges or blessings we receive. May we imitate you, dear Mother, and share also in your perfect joy with others the joy that God gave to us. Mother Mary, pray for us. Jesus, we trust in you. Amen. Please stand, let us offer to God our intentions. For the church, that the Lord continue to guide her in carrying out his works. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who govern, may the Holy Spirit bless them with an abundance of understanding and prudence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayers. For those who are unemployed, alone, and without hope, especially in these darkest days of the year, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayers. For all of us gathered here today, may the Lord bless us and make us holy in his sight. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have died, may they see the glory of our Heavenly Father and enjoy eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. For Jim Colucci, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for all the intentions we hold dear in our hearts, We pray to the Lord. May Almighty God receive our intentions in the name of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord 
And my spirit exalts in God my Savior, for he has looked with mercy on my loneliness, and my name will be forever exalted. For the mighty God has done great things for me, and his mercy will reach from age to age, and holy, holy, holy is his name. He has mercy in every generation. He has revealed his power and his glory. He has cast down the mighty in their arrogance and has lifted up the meek and the lowly. He has come to help his servant Israel. He remembers his promise to our fathers and holy, holy, holy is his name. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. Let us pray. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mystery we serve, to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift it at your hearts. Let us thank to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother long for him. With love beyond all telling, John the Baptist son on his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice in the mystery of his nativity so that may we find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis uncheli et terra, gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of holiness. May holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion. 
he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples and saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which we give enough for you. <coughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples and saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> The mystery of faith, we proclaim you dead, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread to all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, John, Ramon, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope and the resurrection, and all who die in mercy will condemn to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her espoused, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Francis, St. Clare, and all the saints who have preached to the ages, we may make to be co-heirs than alive, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever, and ever. Let us pray as Jesus taught us, our Father, <coughs> be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and gratefully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with the will who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. <clears throat> Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace with you. Peace with you. Peace with you. Peace. On you stay. Qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pace. Mm. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray for our people from their, uh, our community are watching the mass from live stream, and let us unite our heart with them today. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you about all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already then and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> May reception of your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord so that we may go out to meet our Savior with worthy deeds when he comes and merit the rewards of the blessed to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, our Mass is ended. Have a beautiful day. Come, divine Messiah, the world in silence waits the day when hope shall sing its triumph and sadness flee away. Dear Savior, haste, come, come to earth, Dispel the night and show your face and bid us hail the dawn of grace. O oh, come, divine Messiah, the world in silence waits the day when hope shall sing its triumph and sadness flee away.